who were really addicted to the Vampire Diaries, and especially those sexy Salvatore brothers, aka Ian Somerhalder and Paul Wesley. The Vampire Diaries are at number two. Catherine's in the tomb. Trust me, I'm the one who shut her in. Did you? Did I what? Stop it. Well, I know the hold that Catherine has on you. She's in the tomb. Period. End story. We got the scoop on next week's app straight from the vampire's mouth. We learned the whole history from 1492. There's a reason that every single character is the way that they are. You actually see why Catherine is this way. Poor girl, what the hell? On screen, there are some serious rivalries between the show's bros, but off screen, they're tight. We are brothers. It's like it's only him, but eight months out of here, and it's nice to have friends that we actually get along with. So we're like a bird, surely. So this twosome must know a lot about each other then, right? Three things Paul Wesley can't learn about. Can't learn about Ian Tumnall. His weight set and red wine vinegar. Freaking hell. Me? Find myself when I get so damn well in there. I need a toothbrush. If I don't brush my teeth, then I just feel weird. And I know I've been journaling a lot lately. Whoa, Ian was way off. So can you guess Paul's fave flick? He's probably the Godfather. We talk about it all the time. Ian would probably watch Shandy. I just totally rip on Ian. I'm assuming he ripped on him. But it's all out of love. Are you sure you can do this? Who are you talking to? Ian's favorite food would probably be, um, Three Pebbles. I think Paul's favorite food is boiled chicken breasts. Mm. I love sushi. They're just so yummy. But I did rip on that. It's sweet. I'm gonna eat your bigger ass. Okay, so this is really cool. AT&T sent Gabe Zaporta from Cobra Starship to Madrid.